when we talk about Thailand, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Oh, food, of course. Oh, yeah, food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it's uh, it's such a uh, an amazing part of the world mm -hmm. uh, over there and, uh, and incredibly beautiful. I haven't gotten to go myself, but I do remember flying over uh, oh. over that part of the world and looking down and just seeing how incredibly beautiful And you see it is. all that green dots. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right, the fishing exactly. boats. Yeah. Yes, yep, that was, that was really surprising, mm -hmm. honestly, the first time uh, we flew over at night because I, I had never heard that before. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get out there and you see all those green dots everywhere. It was really amazing. คุณผู้ชมครับคลิปนี้ผมพามาพูดคุยกับบ๊อบไฮน์ลูกเรือภารกิจครู 4 when your main job is an astronaut, mm. but what we see is we are seeing many astronauts, we are seeing so many NASA personnel doing an education program, doing an outreach program. Right. Why do you think it's such an important job to do? Well, you know, so much of what we're doing mm -hmm. is uh, is these, this deep space exploration, which is mm -hmm. for the future, right? Uh, we're not going to be doing it all the time. We need the next generation to step mm -hmm. up and be able to make that, uh, make that happen. Uh, we learn so much about our planet by mm -hmm. stepping into, uh, into outer space. But if the next generation isn't inspired to study mm -hmm. science and technology and engineering and math, then mm -hmm. uh, then it all stops. And, yeah. uh, and we really need uh, need folks to follow in the footsteps, just like we're following in the footsteps of the mm -hmm. uh, the astronauts and the engineers and the scientists that were before us. Yeah. And when we talk about you know going to the class, teaching children, what question did you get the most from the children? Uh, how do you pee in space? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then usually it comes back to uh, what kind of advice do you have for somebody who mm -hmm. wants to uh, who wants to participate in space? Yeah. And you know, one I think the there's a couple big mm -hmm. things there. One of them is uh, being a team player, like getting used to working in groups of people and being yeah. a good team player and caring about your teammates uh, is probably the most important thing, especially on the astronaut side, but certainly in our engineering teams and. Uh, and that kind of thing. And then the other thing is finding what you're good at because if you're good at something, you're going to you're going to love doing it. It's going to make you even better. You'll become very passionate about it. Uh, and that's what we need. We need people that are really passionate about uh, space and space flight and engineering and all of those. Yeah. Things. You know what? Let's go back to the peeing and stuff. <laughs> I always wonder when you were about the Dragon capsule, where are the toilets? Where is the toilet about the uh, Dragon? It's a mystery. Uh, it Nobody is, is known. It is secretly hidden behind a panel okay. uh, that uh, that we cover back up uh, oh. when we're done using it. But uh, but yeah, it's right above where the hatch is. Yeah. Uh, and if you look closely, you might see a little emblem that uh, you know on, on mm -hmm. pictures that indicates where that uh, where it is. But, oh, great. But yeah, it's behind a panel that we uh -huh. take off, and then you deploy it. Um, and and we only we only deploy it when we need it, and then we put it back because who mm -hmm. wants to look at that, right? Now the mystery is <laughs> solved for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. คุณผู้ชมครับวันที่เราพูดคุยกันอยู่นั้นเป็นช่วงเดียวกับบรรยากาศการทดสอบยานอวกาศสตาร์ไลเนอร์ผมจึงมีโอกาสได้ถามคุ
uh, uh, time in front of us. Uh, and then and then you couple that with all the things that are going on with Artemis, mm -hmm. uh, with all the different uh, spacecraft and uh, suits and new projects that are going on to get us back to the moon. Mm -hmm. It's an incredibly exciting time. Yeah. So let's talk about the Artemis program. Um, people really focus on you know the fro astronaut. Uh, we, I'm just, <laughs> right. I just, I, I just talking to Jeremy and he's great. Yeah. But we do have lots of astronaut who is participating mm -hmm. in training and in helping and in you know right. helping the others. So uh, right. can you please you know give us a big picture of what is going on with the astronaut situation in the Artemis 2? Sure, uh, and it's not just Artemis 2. We're mm -hmm. working on things far beyond Artemis 2. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's all hands on deck. Uh, mm -hmm. So every astronaut, if they're not in training for a mission, we are all working uh, all of these different programs. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a matter of fact, just on Friday, I was doing some Orion testing yeah. uh, to do some uh, manual piloting and handling mm -hmm. qualities tests uh, on the Orion spacecraft. Uh, and so we are all working uh, all those different programs like Gateway, uh, we have two uh, lunar EVA suits mm -hmm. that we're developing, we have lunar rovers, uh, so there's a lot of things going yeah. on, and every astronaut is working really hard uh, to not only support our real-time operations that we have going on with the International Space Station mm -hmm. uh, and our commercial crew, but also get Ar getting Artemis uh, up right. and running. Right. That's why last year during the announcement, we see lots of astronauts. I, yes. It's like everybody is filling That's the right. room. Yeah. That's right, because we're all we're all part of it, right? Mm -hmm. Those two are those two are going to be sitting on the pointy end of the yeah. rocket up there. Uh, but we'll all be riding along with them and we're all make, you know, helping to make sure that uh, the vehicle's ready to go, that mission control is ready to go, and that the uh, mission is, uh, is going to be successful. Yeah, wow, what a great experience. Really so, um, one last question is, um, what would you advise to the younger generation, not only in Thailand, but around the world, if they want to you know, take part in a space, I wouldn't say to be an astronaut, but I would say yeah. take part in a space, you know, the space yeah. community. Yeah, it's, you know, Especially in the science and engineering world, uh, it's not easy. Uh, it, it is a challenge to get through the schooling, but it is so worth it. And uh, if it's something that interests you uh, and, and something that you are passionate about, just go after it because we need smart people. We need uh, innovative people uh, and you know, be willing to solve problems in non-standard ways. Uh, and, and people that are really, really creative and solving all these hard technical challenges, uh, that's what we need. And so uh, we really are looking to the next generation to really help us not only get to the moon, but get onto Mars. Wow, what a perfect answer. Thank you so much yeah. for today. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet nice you. Nice talking to you.